Hi guys, Spike here from Wavescape. Here is a surf report, a little bit of a belated one during the COVID lockdown for the week of 9th of June to the weekend of the 15th of June 2020. Just uh, because this is the second biggest storm of the winter so far and um, it's going to bring some rather furious and ferocious weather. So starting off with a slightly zoomed out look um, today, Tuesday in the afternoon, 3 to 4 o'clock, um, very strong inland northwesterly winds are the precursor to the arrival of the front and we'll see that uh, winds are freshening northwest but as I look just now um, on the beach in the deep south of Cape Town, a few spots of rain, still some bright sunny patches and some cloud looming in the distance but that of course is all going to change. As we come up to Tuesday night it starts to freshen and become strong so let's just zoom in a little bit there. We are on the wind gusts, right? Not the actual wind level because that's really indicative of the extent of the weather. So basically somewhere in the deep south of Cape Town, 27 knots by one o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. And then um, as it gets to three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, it's, it's becoming gale force. And then in the early hours as you wake up in the morning, um, it is gusting to 41 knots and staunch winds spread right across the area. In fact, if you look at um, the Eastern Cape, 40 knot gusts, and uh, in fact, I detected even stronger, 51 knots inland around over the Karoo and inland PE side, a bad chance of fires in the Nasna area, um, gales smashing right across the area, 42 knot gusts in Cape Town. That is at 12 o'clock tomorrow, Wednesday the 10th. And then this is going to pass by Wednesday evening. Still strong winds right across the area. And the thing about this storm is it's pretty much of a double-barreled storm. It just keeps on coming. A large area. If we zoom out and have a look, you'll just see that it's a very large area. And it's actually deepened. It's gone down to 975. And it's got this massive wind fetch that's spraying the whole southern Cape Coast and eastern Cape Coast with a south to southeast swell. So let me just rewind a little bit just to give you an indication of how that forms. So it's down to 993 and then boom, it starts to strengthen. 990, 988, 983, 979, 975, 975 and it is going gangbusters. Now that's on Thursday morning is when it's actually peaking. So if you're thinking of a sneaky little surf and all those wrap around bays and tucked away spots uh, that light up on a south swell um, from Cape Point all the way to PE, then you're going to have to wait more to Friday when you see the swell from that particular area of the storm arrive. Uh, but before we get to the swell, let me just get to the, the rain because we're in for some pretty amazing rainfall. So let's just zoom in a little bit. There's a big band of rain out at sea. A little bit of a precursor happening on Tuesday evening and Tuesday night overnight, but then the main rain is going to arrive in the early hours of Wednesday. So from basically 5 a.m. Wednesday all the way through the whole day Wednesday, rain, rain and good rain in the catchment, snow on the inland mountains, Thursday rain, rain, more snow, snow, rain, snow. It's hectic. There's snow even in the like Karoo. I mean, literally there is snow in the Karoo. And then all the way through Thursday, rain still along the coast, all the way along the coast, good falls. I mean, finally, it looks like our dams are going to get uh, a very good injection of, of rainwater. And still snowing uh, in parts through Friday, still some showers, still heavy rain in the Eastern Cape and across the PE coastline. Okay, but enough of that. Now let's look at waves. So just zooming out a little bit. So come Tuesday, back, rewind right to the beginning beginning of the end or the end of the beginning. So we have a two meter swell, pretty small really. Sorry, but I'm very irritated at that because I keep asking it to do feet. So pretty much a very weak, soft, five foot to 10 seconds wind swell running on Tuesday, which basically means nothing, nada, anywhere along the coast, tiny to small to nowhere. And then there's this large wave front that is coming with the storm. It's a messy, very low period, 12 second, 18 foot swell. The winds obviously are all generating the swell as it comes and it starts to arrive overnight. When we wake up on Wednesday, 17 foot at 10 seconds in Cape Town. Very west swell at first, so the east, eastern Cape and east coast is not going to see anything of that. And then if we move along through Wednesday, 17 foot at 10 seconds, 
by the evening, 18 foot at 11 seconds by nightfall. It's now a very southwest swell. Of course, howling winds, crazy weather, mixed up variety of sizes and shapes and directions. And then into Thursday, 20 foot at 12 seconds. And uh, again, all that wind that's blasting up the coast, all those areas along the Southern Cape, Eastern Cape are gonna be missing. And then by Thursday, late morning, still huge. And you see that the swell direction is now slowly becoming more and more southwest to south, but still not really getting into those places that you'd like. And anyway, the wind's not looking great. But come Friday, and we'll see a distinct difference here. Suddenly we're gonna look at more straight southerly swell, 13 foot south swell at 11 seconds and that is basically along the Cape Coast and also further up the coast. This is where the swell is really going to start registering and then uh, already starting to fade from the western coast up the east side, still 12. So 14 foot south swell, what does that mean exactly? Okay, so let's have a look at the winds. So Thursday, still very strong. I mean, Wednesday is obviously just an absolute write-off. The winds are crazy. Uh, Thursday, the winds are still very strong. Let's go back to the gusts. Pumping across the eastern Cape Coast, so no go. The winds will be just blasting the swell right past the coast. And then come Thursday night, the wind is moving up the coast and away, and it's just starting to moderate. So by Cape Town, it's now light to moderate southwesterly, and the whole False Bay coastline is going gangbusters with a solid south swell. Of course, it's locked down, so how are you going to get to those spots? I don't know. Helicopter, Palamon poaching boat, your Lalo, I don't know. You've got to find a way because it's going to be cooking and then all the way along the coast all these wraparound bays pe is going to have waves very good waves in town and the winds are now moderate to fresh this swell all over the show and then saturday nice brisk much lighter let's go to normal winds now much lighter winds northwesterlies as well five to ten knots all the way around the coast west coast swells died there up there of course just looking at the waves and you've Pretty much the swell has gone, but there's still some remnant um, four to six foot in the east, south swell running, and in the west, you're looking at four foot maybe left over swell. So this is just a quick add-on for the guys in the eastern, eastern Cape and KZN. Basically, you're not going to see much at all for a longer period of time. Uh, you've got like a leftover residual northeast wind swell running now. In terms of winds, you have a fresh north to north east wind blowing and into Wednesday that doesn't really change there's still in fact you often get that fresh northeast wind as a precursor to the arrival of the cold front because the cold front is basically a low pressure system and the northeast is basically a high pressure system and, and the air from the high pressure system gets sucked towards the low and so you often get that burst of strong northeasterly before the buster starts to move up the coast um, which it does on basically Thursday. In the early hours of Thursday, you can see here it comes. The weather is all going to be very much delayed. If we look at the winds and the wind directions around the fetch from the storm and how quickly it comes in, I mean, look how rapidly it comes in. Within like 12 hours, it's um, already 800 miles south of Agullis, then rapidly moves east, and that wind around the western quadrant of that low pressure system um, rapidly strengthens to peak winds of 46 knots but gusting to 52 knots around the eye of that low pressure system right but currently even now it's um, much more focused on the eastern cape sort of between agalis and pe but as we move through thursday it's starting to fall into the swell window for the upper reaches of the east coast but that swell is going to take a day to get to you. So pretty much past East London side, uh, Trans Sky side, um, until Friday. And then it's only Friday where you get uh, the swell, a big south swell arriving. Um, but of course, if you see the winds, the, a buster smashes up the east coast and it is pumping. So you've got uh, one of those situations where white caps out to sea and big swell, huge craggy lumps on the horizon and gale force winds blasting all the way up the KZN coast on Friday. So that's not really great. But of course, in the wake of the buster, Saturday morning could be when we are looking at some very interesting conditions up that side. Uh, you know, look at that 10 foot at 13 seconds south swell. Um, points will light up all the way along the coast here. So Saturday is definitely your day and uh, maybe even Sunday. Look at the swell 
Yeah, it's still a little bit of Southwell left over, but it's pretty much fading away. Yeah, guys, that's about it. Just testing this new software. Hope it's worked. And thanks for watching.